Well, it's official, Warhammer 40k is officially changing the lore of the Custodians and your women space marines are now part of the game. Well, there was a big announcement for 40k on April 13th. Uh, green or gold pre-orders orc or adeptus custos codexes battle boxes and more to pick your side warhammer community so they put up this and then we've got some random asking why did you make female custos custodies custos i'm sorry to the warhammer 40k fans i know you're in my community because i see a lot of it but warhammer official since the first of 10,000 were created there have always been female custodians. And of course, I've chimed in here. I, I, I went and found some AI art, you know, below me and, and beside me. We had to sit there and make this up. If this is your first time at this channel, you need to subscribe. Things that I talk about almost a year ago now come true. That's where we are with this situation. And how did we get here? Well, I covered this topic. I covered an article from Tech Radar. Uh, demands of women space marines. Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. They made demands that they could change the game for diversity. Even though there is all women factions in 40k. There are men and women factions in 40k. But in this case, the custodies, they're genetically altered with sons of the sacrifice or sons that are sacrificed to be gen genetically altered so in this case why would they be female that that's the problem that is here you're trying to start with men, men or males that are part of the pinnacle and then you're genetically altering it even more using that template and going beyond and that is the whole difference with this situation it wouldn't make sense to use a female daughter in this case to push that up there because it's not the best of the strongest or or the fastest there's differences between men and women and this is why it didn't make sense for them to suddenly say the lore is now being changed to say 10 10 editions later that they're going to have female space marines there's many different passages throughout the warhammer lore that actually talks how it is men and sons that are that go through this transition it is known that all custodians begin their lives as infant sons of noble houses of terra it is a mark of incredible prestige to surrender one's child to the most glorious of callings within the imperium and many notable clans among the terran aristocracy have willingly given up almost entire generations of newborn sons to earn it. It's very strange and very funny that Warhammer has picked this time to completely change this idea. Now, there is the other side of the coin. I'm going to talk about it a little bit here. Sons could be anyone of the earth. It could represent anybody in that sense if you take it as a general topic, but there's many more documents where they talk about nephews, men, and sons. So there is in no way that this has ever been females being the space Marines or the custodians in this, in this way. There is the Sisters of Silence. There is many other factions that are female based that have their own heroes. So it doesn't make sense that one section suddenly have to have females all in the name of diversity because that is where this comes back to this is the article in particular that i covered back in may 2023 this warhammer 40k rpg addresses one of the franchise's biggest problems that it's a boys club and they talk about in this how they could change it up how they could add female space marines this was something that i spoke about almost a year ago now it's absolutely crazy i warned about this and here we are by failing to embrace diversity warhammer 40k games are shooting themselves in the foot but they're not failing diversity because it's always been there in the game many different factions had that and in this case you're taking the best of the best of the best and then 
producing what you produce. I guess this could be a Captain America situation where you take a small guy and then make him the best, but no, it's not. This is, this is kids or this is humanity that are breeding themselves in a factitious fantasy realm to be the best and then stand guard as the best in a super soldier mech like outfit it's absolutely ridiculous that now we have 40k bending the knee at this point and just pandering to the diversity quota that is upon us and to really give you an idea of how pissed their community is right now kiss my ass games workshop not another penny this is someone that was subscribed to warhammer plus uh and they're it, it, expiring september 15 2024 yeah it's a ways away but i believe they pay a yearly fee to be something like this and then they have shareholder statistics here blackrock and vanguard involved there is much more going on behind the scenes of what is going on in this company and you can see their stock went quite a ways down they lost one uh, one and a half percent almost which is a huge loss on this announcement well and now they're also dancing on the grave of games workshop out of this pretty much coming out saying yeah they're they're female space marines now what are you gonna do about it and they're sitting there saying they won uh chuglets stay uh, stay losing well divers to woke out and woke hammer 40k you love to see it so they're they're churning it they're really trying to stir this pot forward and i don't think uh, games workshop really understands what they've started here now this is also very interesting i'm just gonna put this in here as a side note hasbro wizards of the coast and magic the gathering did a crossover at warhammer around june 2023 and now we have this on top of it where they're changing the lore they're changing the one thing that doesn't really make much sense I, I i gotta play some devil's advocate here they're going to take females the pinnacle females of the human race turn them and take them genetically alter them and make them buff and make them the pinnacle of the female body what kind of models are we going to get out of this what is 40k going to do here so they're changing the lore and making new models what are those models really going to look like are we going to have 10 foot tall amazonian style naked women on 40k models that's the devil's advocate but ultimately this is them bending the knee making the diversity quota matter and representing more things out of the fandoms that are just being taken away and shoehorned in anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe and i, I gotta say i warned you back in may 2023 thanks for watching